Hello guys, I'm Lisa. And I'm Natasha. And we were wondering, are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. Hey guys. Okay guys, I have to give you an apology. Last week I misspoke and we were talking about the Sesame Street fiasco, Mm -hmm. for lack of a better word. And I did start off right and called her Rosita, which it was Rosita. But baby, then I lapsed into Lupita. I don't know how I was calling... (laughs) Little sesame person Lupita. It's Rosita. Rosita. Guys, what was funny was I was like, wait, who's Lupita? <laughs> and she's like, you know, Sesame Street. And I'm like, Rosita. I'm like, maybe in my head I've like made up a new character. I, re- I renamed her, y'all. She got so a whole new name. It's Rosita Lupita. But it's that's Rosita, <laughs> and it was my bad for calling her Lupita. So and that's because me. that's not your Grand Sugar's favorite. It's not. So my Grand Sugar loves... Big Bird and Abby. So those are the only... I don't watch Sesame Street, right. y'all. So I don't those, know those, those are people. the ones that you know. I know those people. Right, right. Rosita Lupita. <laughs> that we we gave her. a whole fake name to. Yes. Yeah, so my bad. Our bad, Apologies, guys. but y'all know who we were talking about. It was Rosita <laughs> that showed her behind, okay, with those little girls. Not Lupita. <laughs> That was funny. And y'all, we had talked about this a while back. We we did a mental health episode about the 988 rollout. And at the time, a few areas had 988, which is a number that you call for someone who is experiencing a mental health crisis. Instead of calling 911, you would call 988 and then they would send someone that's qualified to help someone having a mental health crisis. Well, it just was in a few areas. Well, now it's nationwide. So just FYI, if you ever find yourself in that predicament and you need to call, call 988. And that way you can be sure to get someone um, you know, experienced yeah, with that qualified. type of an issue. And this is just kind of the update. Cause at the time when we recorded a vi- originally, it was a kind of a tentative. It had not rolled out. No, I think it, it was, it was, like in, it was New York, in certain, certain, yes. certain metropolitan but now areas. It's like, but now it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yes. So just FYI, just make a note of that and maybe near your phone or on your phone or yeah. something. Uh, 988. If you are around anybody, that experiences a mental health crisis, you can call and get them some help. Yes. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, Oh, I, we've got some wrecks for y'all, some TV wrecks. Um, Prey is on Hulu. Hulu. Yes. Now, it's a Predator prequel. Y'all remember Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, y'all, listen, Predator's done it a few it, times. A few times, but it's, you know, a thriller, aliens, all kinds of but fun this, things. But this twist is amazing. It's so me. cool. It is an almost all Native American cast. And it's set back in the 1700s, which yes. is so cool because they don't really have weapons. Right, like, not that not, we not know modern of, you know, like weapons, what Arnold yeah. was fighting Predator with. And the main protagonist is a girl. Yes. And she is badass, y'all. So that's, it's really cool female power. And there are two versions. There's an English dubbed version. So they are speaking Comanche and then they dub it in English, English, so you can read, and then some. They are well. You can, they do. You don't have to read it, do you? No. Well, some parts. So you some do, parts and are some subtitled. Parts are, right, yeah, but right. most of it is done. But then they have another version that is in the Comanche native tongue, which that's which cool. is so cool. Yeah. So check that out. It's on Hulu. It's out now. Another one that's really cool that's out on Netflix is The Sandman. It and y'all. Now, Prey is a movie, guys. Yes, Prey is a movie. Sandman, and it got 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yes. Just FYI. Sandman is, is a series. Is a series on Netflix. It's very hard for me to describe it. It's kind of it's a it's fantasy. It's kind of Harry, like grown-up Harry Potter-ish. It's got a lot of biblical references. It's Narnia, but it's, it's, it's dark. Kind of, it's, I like it. It is so cool, y'all. And it's really that genre is kind of not my jam. That's not your and jam. it's amazing though. It is that amazing. actually speaks to how good it is because you were like raving, and I'm like, 
None yeah, of this. Yeah. Now that's not something I would stumble upon, but I was like, none of this is your jam. This must be really, really good. It's and really I can't good. wait to watch Y'all, it. Y'all, it's really good. And I watched it with my son and daughter-in-law who are fantasy kind of folk and they loved it. And it's, it's really good. So I give it two thumbs up on that one. And there is a prequel to Game of Thrones. So all my Game of Thrones fans And you out all there, are fanatical. And I love Game of Thrones. I was like Natasha on Game of Thrones, though. I didn't catch it when everybody else was catching it. I had to yeah. wait. Yeah. And then I just, it was during the pandemic and there's nothing else. Like, let me see what the fuss is about. And I got into it. But um, there's a prequel, The House of Dragons, that will be out on HBO and HBO Max August 21st. So just oh, that's FYI. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah, that in just a little bit. So um, because it's a prequel, I don't think you have to have watched Game of Thrones to I was to thinking that. Get it? Well, any of the, I, I think, guess you would say original cast? like or, they're, No, they're not in it. Okay. But, but a couple of the cast from the original Game of Thrones is in the Sandman. That's right. You so did that's say that. cool. That's very cool. But um, so that prequel, Game of Thrones fans, fantasy genre fans, um, just mark your calendar for August 21st. And on to other things. If you're anywhere in the world, <laughs> you know that we are having a worldwide heat wave excessive except in europe in america it, it here now y'all know we live in texas which we tell y'all we have two seasons hot and hotter but it's and it's been hottest <laughs> this year but even people in the northeast who typically have much cooler weather have experienced a lot of heat heat yeah um and surprisingly enough heat is a number one weather related killer. Did you know that? I didn't, but it kind of makes sense. I don't know why I was surprised. I, maybe I thought cold. Because heat, I, heat sneaks you. Heat, heat can sneak up on you. Cold, not so much. Like you can be put placed in a, you know, unfortunate situation with cold and certainly hypothermia set in, yada, yada. But heat, you know, think about these pro athletes and even these like young, heart and pristine condition athletes who freaking have a heat stroke or, you know, they don't even realize how dehydrated they really are. So I could, that actually makes sense to me. And I guess us living in Texas, it, I mean, guys, it's nothing for it to be 106. I mean, like, that's just like, well, it's 106 today. Yeah. So because it's, because that happens and that's not uncommon or, Unheard. I could. I could totally see heat being a major killer. Well, the problem, he well, especially for the Northeast and in Europe. In Europe, less than three percent of people have Girl. air conditioning, so that is a is problematic. I and can't in the even Northeast, imagine. there are a lot of people. I it's know. you know, there's older buildings. There's um, they just don't really need it. You know, for for such a short time. When yes. Kennedy was in grad school. The apartment she lived in didn't have central air. So, um, I mean, I mean, they probably have a bad couple of weeks, but yeah. that's it. Yeah. You know, and, and at you, this point they're going so on months. It's and survivable, months. you yes. know, so, um, the heat is a problem. So we want to kind of talk about it and give you guys some tips for staying cool. Yes. And I thought these were really interesting. I did not know a, a few of them. So one is close the windows and shades during the day. So in the morning, like when you get up, get up early and close them before the sun gets yes. really hot. And that keeps the sun out. Yeah. And that does work. I yes. do that. So, so close your, if you have blinds or drapes, just close them. Two, if at night, if you live in a place where it gets cooler at night. Now in Texas, this really does not work for us. <laughs> it just gets dark. 
we don't it really does it doesn't not get, get super cool, cool. No. but there are some places that at night it does get cool right. and if, if if you live in one of those places you can open the windows at night and keep the fan on and that will ah, circulate some air no, and, and we're, cool. we're lucky if we drop to 80 384 yeah usually so. it's in, in the 90s yeah it is yeah so it doesn't work for us but for you guys where the temp and, actually drops it, and it, you can do that um three is keep interior doors open so the air temp in the house will equalize so that means like you're bedrooms your bathrooms just keep everything open open don't close that is true because because they tell you that they tell you that your ac works harder when you do close off those spaces so that makes sense yeah so just keep everything open because if you close them you'll get pockets of heat and that's that's no good so just keep all the doors um open um run your bathroom exhaust fan and especially huh. when you shower, because it'll pull the hot, humid air out. So that's a tip. Um, it'll it'll suck the heat out. That makes sense. Uh, five. This was interesting to me. Dry clothes inside. So when you do your laundry and you wash them, take the wet clothes out. And you know, there's those racks. You've seen those. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. of the time they're wooden. I guess some of them are metal that you can just hang clothes on. Yeah. Just do that inside. Because um, as the clothes dry, the evaporative cooling sh- lowers the temp. Dang. Isn't that clever? I just took our comforter outside. <laughs> that is so, I thought that I was should have so... hung that bad boy up in here. Yes. And, been like, ah. and it, it makes sense because it does. That when does make it, sense. It, it is cool. So um, you could do that. Or if you have some, even some chairs or things, you can kind of drape stuff say, on drape it over some if chairs. you don't have a rack. Like a fort. <laughs> yes. Yes. And do, do that. And it kind of makes, gives you that a uh, little cooling sensation. Uh, this was another clever one. Fill your hot water bottle with cold water and ice and use it to cool your bed. Like roll it or rub it on there? Yeah. Just lay, put it in there. You know how... Well, you in the east or where, where places where it's cold, people do that to warm the bed. You know, put put hot water. Okay, I have and put seen it that in to warm your bed. But this, I guess it would put work the, the same. ice in the cold water, and it'll cool. Y'all, my favorite thing in the world, which is why I do not like heated, you know, like electric blankets or things like that, or even flannel sheets. I like it to be even in the winter. To be warm, but I like to put my foot over and feel cold. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's how you regulate your temp. You take one foot from under the cover, you stick it out, and all is well Or just slide it over underneath the cover where where it's cold. Oh, yeah. You like the cool sheet? Just that cold (sighs) sheet feeling. So that kind of gives you that. So do your your hot water bottle with ice and water, put it in the bed, and it will make your bed cool. And cool sheets are so refreshing. That's the bomb.com. Uh, fill a clean spray bottle with cold water and lightly spritz your sheets before bed. I could see that. And they say children love being spritzed. Oh yeah. So when I told you that's down, my kid's you could, jam. You could spritz them. And you know, you could add a couple drops of essential oil yes, or something. Add if you some want lavender a little, guys. They don't yeah, know. <laughs> a little scent. You could do that. Spoken like a fun. guilty mom. Yes, add a little bit. Yes. Um, Invest in window treatments. So that first tip we gave you about closing the blinds and all that. If you don't have blinds, you can't do that. So invest in in drapes or blinds. Yeah. Ex- Blackout curtains. Yes. Exterior shading like awnings and trees help. So if you live in a established neighborhood where you have big trees. Right. Your your home is probably a lot cooler. That's than- we we have not trimmed our trees that look hideous. Because I, I was like, this is going to make the house so much hotter. Oh, yeah. So we're going to leave them ugly until the fall. When it falls off. <laughs> well, well, and, the, fall and off. the thing is, right before they fall off and we have to rake them, we will cut them down. Yes. We'll trim them then. Yes. So, so awnings yeah. and all that outside and blinds and draperies inside, that helps regulate the temperature. Stay hydrated. So... Like Natasha was talking about athletes and people yes. that are working out, really monitor yourself. And you know what? Even though I'm a huge fan of water, I drink a ton of water. 
I have learned recently that electrolytes, and I know this, I know better than this, just like being an athlete and I know this, but watch your electrolytes as well. Like before I go to bed every night, I drink coconut water. Oh, because of the, does that have electrolytes? Because oh, of the electrolytes. Yeah. Okay. We keep Pedialyte in our fridge. Our kids could care less about it. It's not for them. If I drink a lot of water and I still feel a little like, oh, I still oh. feel kind of off or parched. Never. And I, I, I've grown to hate Pedialyte. I used to love Gatorade it. Gatorade works too. It does. It has a little more sugar. Does it? Yeah. Okay. It, it's not much but more. But just, I mean, it's not if, much you, if it's but available. But still, same thing. Yeah. If it's available. If it's available. And so I'll drink a glass of that and it's like, oh. I'm cool. Like I'm level now. So yeah. yeah. So monitor hydration yourself. matters. Um, and you may want to take your activity level down a notch. If you are a person that runs five miles, you might just want to go one or two. If it's super hot outside, Girl, um, one just fell out recently over here. Yes. The every paramedics day. were there and I'm like, what it's, makes you think this, too is, much. this is too much in this heat? Right. Even when you're fit, this yes. is a lot. This yeah. is another thing, another level. Um, and take frequent breaks. And even if you don't feel real thirsty or feel like you need it, yes, you dehydrate. Do. You do. Just, yep. just drink it anyway. Um, the last one is opt for cooling fabrics and bedding. So cotton and linen are the best. Yeah. For keeping yourself cool, try not to use synthetic fabrics yes. that don't breathe and they they don't really let your sweat evaporate and because that can be um, a problem for you and h- help you retain heat. I can see that. And that's not a good thing. So wear cotton and linen and put your cotton and linen sheets on your bed. So... Those are our tips. And those are, I mean, those are practical. They don't really have anything too much to do with get a a new air conditioner. Yes, they're inexpensive. And even if you have an air conditioner in in Texas, you know, you guys, uh, that we have the electrical grid issues. So a lot of times they tell us to conserve, turn the air up and maybe, um, in places where you live too. Yes. So we are all in this. 106, 112. We're all in this problem. Honey, the AC, I don't. It just never kicks off. It never. Yeah. It just, bless its heart. It's just. I turn it up to like 76. Oh my God. And it's, it, I mean, it's, it's coolish. No, it's not. (laughs) But, um, guys, I cannot. uh, That's way too hot for me. I mean, it's fine. But th- these tips help. Yeah. They they yeah. do help. And, you know, I dress appropriately. Like You, you have can't, to. You just, you know, wear sleeveless stuff. That's wear true. little That's dresses. True. You know, don't, you can't overdress when you do that. But we're all trying to take care of the earth. Yes. And do our part. And not fall out from the heat. And not fall out. So those are little tips that we all can do to say, stay safe. And we'd love to hear from y'all. If you have anything that you've done that helps combat the heat. We'd love to hear it. Absolutely. Up next, our pick for the sexiest man alive this week. But first, a message from our sponsor, BetterHelp. During hard times, it can get really difficult if you don't have anyone to talk to. Being alone with your thoughts can be an isolating feeling that can allow negativity to consume you. This is why we are sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000-plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. So many people use BetterHelp that they are currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash free for coffee. 
That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash free for coffee. Okay, Lisa, I'm prepared. This doesn't happen often, but I am prepared with my sexiest man alive this week. Who is it? But he does have tattoos. Of course. And he is technically a musician. <laughs> I I, 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 I wish y'all could see my face. I, like she's so my my, by my me. surprised face. Like, like I'm so proud that I have. Jk, I, I've no never surprise. I've never picked this person before, so I'm super proud. Okay, D'Angelo. Oh, okay. Yes, and that's a blast from the past. Fun fact: When Cedric and I started dating, I would sing D'Angelo at the top of my <laughs> lungs. And bust in on him in the shower and pour water over him. Like, it, it just made, it reminded me of the music video, you know? So he'd be like, what are you doing? I'm just like singing Acting random. Out fantasy. Pretty much. And I'm not sure why he married me. But here we are. And it's D'Angelo. That's so funny. And that is kind of a blast from the past. But that's who it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. He's cute. He is. Okay, I am picking Chris Evans. Okay. And he's in a new Netflix movie with the duke from bridgerton and ryan gosling he is the gray man yeah 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 yeah. he plays he he plays wait didn't i just pick chris no i didn't no no well he i don't like him in that movie i I picked anthony mackie sorry didn't you pick chris evans i don't think i did did i okay i might have just been i might have just been crushing on him recently yeah but he's a bad guy in that so i'm not loving him and he has kind of a weird stash so and that's not looking real good to me but just (laughs) his real self i think is so cute i love his personality yes he is just so cool and y'all i love him with facial hair for you know he's too young for me Oh but for God. all y'all looking, he is actively looking oh, yeah. for a significant other. I saw that. He is ready to mingle. I don't buy it, but okay. You don't? You don't no. think so? I think so. Where he got to look? Right. Well, no. Okay. <laughs> Let's think about it. I think it's hard sometimes when you're famous you have to find someone that loves you for you. You okay, know, that's there's fair. some stuff you have to weed yes, out. So I can yes. see. And do you actually like me or are you in love with one of my characters? Right. Because I feel like that or would my all, fame, my right, money, my right. X, Y, Z. You know, or, or else, you know, you you thinking I'm Captain America. No, I'm Chris Evans. Right. I'm not Captain America. Right. I think it would be hard. He loves his dog. Yes. He's always got the dog yes. on, on social media, which is so cute. Super cute. Um, I just think he's a cool guy. I, mean, I, I, wish him, I wish him well, you know, for all you youngins out there. Stranger things have he happened. Forty one. You might Please just stop acting like he's that's a youngin for me. He's not twenty two. That's a youngin oh for God. me. That's a child. But <laughs> for all y'all out there, y'all, I used to have a roommate that used to was in love with Michael Jackson, and she would say, "Just one day I can meet him at the ice cream shop, <laughs> girl, uh, girl." Like, okay, so you're gonna be. Go to Baskin Robbins and Michael right. you're not Jackson old, you're, will be there, you know. Not old but to drink stranger it. things have happened. So yeah. I don't know. You might be at the ice cream shop and Chris Evans comes exactly. in and sparks fly and it's love at first sight. I'm hoping that for And then we him. will be I'm talking about it. y'all. I'm wishing Speaking it for Speaking of him. love at first sight, this is derailing, but they broke up. My couple. Yeah. Oh my gosh. My I couple broke up. They did. I didn't. I'm still. I'm, but. Are you surprised? You know, I, but I'm okay. Okay, so we're talking first, about. Uh, I'm sorry, Kim, Kim Kardashian and, and Pete Davidson. And Pete, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. Number one, number one, this woman just got out of a whole marriage. Okay, so we should not expect this to be like immediately a happily ever after because there has not been enough time for healing. I'm not surprised for adjustments. He was, for anything. He was the rebound guy. Yeah. And then when and, you know, funny and attentive and reboundy, and according to Ariana Grande and half the other women hung like a horse. I can't blame her. Well, but even Chris said, you remember um RTF? Yeah. So when she said that, I thought this is the rebound guy. Yeah. Th- then I thought that yeah. then. I mean, I'm You I was, did. You told me you're like, I hope this isn't the case. And, I don't think. Yeah, I, and you know what? And when he said like that he wants kids and 
you know, I'm they're, like, they're at different she, stages. They're of at different their stages. Life. Of life. I think yes. Kim is done with that phase of her life, and I totally understand, understand that. that. Yes, it, you get to a point where okay, I did that. Now I'm ready to move on. And I, I don't I to want to start all another over again. stage. Yeah. So I think that's probably where she is. Yeah, and he's not there yet. And I hope it was. They said it was amicable. I was about to say, I hope it was as, as amicable as could be. Where it's like, I still respect you. I still like you. I had a great time. I just, I, I have nothing. I can't offer you anything else. I'm not ready to move forward in any way or whatever it might have right, been. Right, right. But yeah, I don't know. You said happily ever after. And I was like, I, <gasps> I really wasn't expecting an ADA hey, with them. we got 50%. Because Ben and Jen, if you, guys, still- if you guys remember, yeah. you followed us. It was like the Ben and Jen thing and the whole Kim K and Pete Davidson. Thing. Remember, it kind of was yeah. around but, the same time we were talking but about. But Pete's him. been through a few since we've been talking about him. Has he? Yes. Remember, he was with um, Daphne from Bridgerton. I mean, he's been with. I mean, since we have been talking about him, yeah. who else? Oh, there's a few. There's a few. <laughs> so I don't know if Pete is the rebound I, guy. I used to always which I'm kind joke. of feeling I'm sad. Sorry, at, this, at this point, he's he's doing better than Prince. I'm feeling, I'm feeling sad for him, though. I am. I want Pete to find, to find yeah. his happily ever yes. after. So I am keeping my thing. I'm working. See, I can retire because... Ben and Jen are in a good place. So I can right. let that go. So now, so now, now, I'm now, now, now you can pray for Pete. Psychic and spiritual energy on Pete. To find somebody. Okay, we're going to make a sticker we're, for we're, the shop that we says are, pray for Pete. Yes, <laughs> we're keeping fingers, toes crossed. Everything. Pete is going to find his happily ever after. Yes. He serviced Kim, and now she's ready to move on. And I'm not mad at her. Kim probably just needs something else, and I get that. But, yeah. Um, we're sad, not sad. Yeah, exactly. Sad. It's, it's it's really a yeah, sad, not it's, sad. It's always sad when you break up, but yeah. I, I'm not surprised. Yeah, Lisa was out of town, and I'm like, did you see this? Yeah, did you see it. this? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, I know. it lasted longer than I thought. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Nine months? Yeah. That lasted longer a, than- You can make a baby. That definitely lasted- I know. Yeah. Holy That's cow. a long time. That's a long time. And that lasted way longer than you gave credit for at the beginning. Yeah. I thought it was going to be. You were like six weeks tops. I'm like, dang, gave them no time. Nine months. So it it was a, it was a nice fling, but Pete, we love you. Kim, we love you too. And, but, and we get it, but Pete, I got you, baby. Just keep, just put your service announcement out there. Like Chris Evans. Right. And, and you don't have two guys, y'all, all you single age appropriate folk. Now you, now you folk my age, leave these youngins alone. You can't but, be anti cougars. <laughs> no, I because it'll be the same thing. It will be. You, you're just it not at be. the same stage. You, you're you gotta, right. You got to be on the same page with things. I'm not. It's not really the age in terms of the number. It's the life experiences. Yeah. So y'all folks my age, leave these youngins alone. The, you little young girls, there's two for you. Two. There's two that's looking. Two cute eligible. Two cute eligible rich beautiful men looking yes. for somebody. Both of which are funny. Right. Funny and cute. So there you go. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay loves. Thank you for pulling up a chair and joining us for coffee. Please subscribe to Are You Free For Coffee podcast wherever you are listening. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode and find joy in the little things. Until next time. Network.